What's happening, YouTube? This is Mike from the Hardcover Comic. Got another omnibus overview for you guys here, and today we're going to look at the second George Perez Wonder Woman omnibus, obviously published by DC. Great cover there. Um, very thin book. I was pretty surprised uh, by how thin it is. I mean, they released the page count on Amazon very early on, but it's just sort of bizarre. Uh, and the reason it's very bizarre is because of the price point. Um, which is 100 US and 131 Canadian. And let's see what we're getting in here. Uh, 25 through 45 in the second annual. So 22 issues. Um, it's kind of ridiculous, but you know what? For the completionist in me, it was pre-order available for way cheaper because they obviously solicited it wrong and you know how Amazon rolls. Um, I'm going to take the dust jacket off and dive into this thing. And another disappointing factor, they didn't do a cool uh, graphic design. It's just the plain black with that uh, emboss that they do. Uh, nothing too fancy. I, I don't particularly care too much, but I mean, if you did it right with the first one, you may as well do so with the second one. Um, so let's take a look at the table of contents here. I haven't read any of this material. I did read the first omnibus and enjoyed it. Um, so I'm going into this with, you know, a positive outlook. So we've got the writers and pencilers. Doesn't even look like he did a single issue um, in this omnibus. So we'll just take a look at that there. I apologize for the glare, guys. Not much I can do about that. Well, I'm sure there is something I could do, but... If you guys want to look at these quicker, obviously you can just pause the video whenever you'd like. I do like the table of contents. It looks nice. Um, so yeah, I'll just sort of flip through this thing. You guys can get a little taste of what's going on. Um, as with all DC Omnis, it uh, doesn't necessarily stay open. You'd think if it was a smaller book, it'd be a little better, but uh, nah. You know, at least it's lighter. And you can sort of hold it for the first uh, 200 or so pages, however long it takes for it to stay open on its own. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I like Wonder Woman, so I'm just glad she's getting any sort of oversized hardcover love. Uh, looks like it stays open at 180, maybe a little earlier if you work in the binding as well. Uh, I'm just going to try and get into the middle here. There we go. Here's your eye hole again. I apologize for the lighting, guys. But you can still see it, right? Um, but yeah, you know, it's, a, it's, it's not a bad release. The price is a bit ridiculous in my opinion. Um... Again, if I hadn't got the pre-order so early, I don't know. I might have held off on this one. Um, so let's just take a look at the bonus content here. Still issues. Okay. So, wow. Uh, all right. The gallery is like four pages. There's your, bon <laughs> your bonus content, guys. Four pages. I mean, it's nice artwork. Um, but yeah, fairly, you know, lackluster release, um, in all honesty. I'm not that excited about it. I thought I would be, you know, I love Wonder Woman and I was glad she was getting some love, but DC sort of dropped the ball in this one in all honesty. And I hope, um, you know, I hope future Omnis in general, they, they really put in more effort, more bonus content. And this is just, you know, take it or leave it. But um, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, I still highly recommend if you can get this for cheap, get it if you have the first volume. Um, you know, they look great on the shelf. Um, but thanks for tuning in. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them below. Subscribe, like the video, um, hit us up with questions, whatever, man, whatever. You know, we do a live stream, hopefully uh, once every other week at least. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. This is Mike from the Hardcover Comic, and until next time, you stay classy, Internet.